you ever wondered how we make our stamps? I'm about to tell you. Here we go on a tour of Hero Arts making rubber stamps. First we start with an artist's drawing, which is turned into this silver plate, which is then used to make this Bakelite plate that is used to mold the rubber. It puts a piece of paper over it and pushes wax it paper. into wax paper and puts it into this Lake Erie machine, which is a World War II vulcanizer. Ten minutes, 300 degrees, and about 500 pounds of pressure. Pull this out for us, and after the rubber's been cooked and ready to go, it's actually a second press. I'm just going to strip the wax paper away. And there you see the vulcanized, baked rubber. Let's see, and there is our tree. And one that is our stamps for is true impression. Very All right, here's our sheet of rubber. So notice those are the trees. And what we're doing is we're going to mount it on a foam mount so that it stamps true. All Hero Arts woodblock stamps are hand cut and hand detailed, removing the excess rubber. This way, with a fully assembled stamp, you can get right to the craft of stamping. And there is the finished cut tree. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Now we're peeling the back off, the extra piece of paper so that the adhesive side goes right down onto the wood block. Perfect. Here are stamps sitting in boxes waiting to be labeled. And here we go, we're just about to label. These are our tree stamps. And here's the indexing that allows the consumer to know what stamp it is. We do our best to take the greatest care with every stamp we make, because we know it's going to go into your hands. There you have the finished stamp. Beautiful index. Hand cut. Just for you. Here's where we pull all the orders. That's an order there. There's yet another order here. Here's a pulled order with that tree and many other Hero Art stamps. Here's Junis, one of our longtime employees, packing all the products that have been ordered by a retailer. With expert and precision putting them in the box, and there is our tree going to some lucky retailer somewhere around the world. And there's the stamps being put on the UPS truck. That concludes how to make a rubber stamp. Of course, the story doesn't stop here. It now goes into your hands, where creative cards and scrapbook. Thank you very much, and happy stamping.